Hello, welcome back. This is going to be fun. Okay, but before we get into the fun, let me uh, uh, give you a, a big thank you for the overwhelming reaction to our July and August action where we where we do free shipping uh, uh, options uh, all over Europe and have a have a price reductions on many uh, reduction on many titles. So thank you that you took it that well. But the video today is about the new Atlantic batch. We talk today about in excess kick, and we talk about the bad company straight shooter. So once more, two amazing titles. But um, before I get into the new batch, let me have a little look back because I did this one on my German channel, and and the Yes album is, as I haven't talked about that on the English channel, is is an unbelievable achievement of modern mastering technique. I talked to uh, a, a few guys who also have the original and, and <laughs> breathtaking. Unreal. This sounds unreal. If you haven't given it a try, do. Highly recommend it. This is not from this earth in a way. Okay, but, but what gives us this new badge. Let's start with the in excess kick. An 80s, late 80s, 1987 highlight for sure. I can compare it against the British first pressing. I have here a nice copy near mint. Uh, luckily it plays flawless so that we can get a real comparison here also when it comes to the to the shape of, of, of the vinyl. It has a little different uh, uh, um, a little different label. I'll show this to you later. So British first pressing against the Atlantic 75. I started I started with the British first pressing and first thoughts were oh oh another tough one because the original, or not the original, the, the first pressing from Great Britain really sounds good, <laughs> really good. I have to give you that. And uh, so I listened to it completely and musically this is, wow, I, I so love this record, so love this record. New Sensation, Mediate, Mystify, Kick, wow, Devil Inside, wow, 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 fantastic. Then, of course, I put on the 45 RPM Atlantic 75 version, which comes in this amazingly beautiful, highest quality gatefold jacket. I show you the label because they vary a little to the British pressing. The, the, you also have this. And, uh, but in a different color and then on the other side you have the, the generic Atlantic label. So what can I say about this reissue and the comparison to the British first pressing? When you put up the 45, the, Atla the analog production, it's, it's like you... The sound stage is, is like a balloon that goes from this original to this reissue Atlantic 75. The sound stage gets bigger. You have so wonderful air between all those instruments. And this is a very Punchy, you have a lot of attack in this record. The voice, the guitars, the saxophone on some songs, or one song at least. And, and it opens it up so brilliantly without losing the, the dryness of the bass. The, the, it's so, it, it stays so exact and it, it, no, it doesn't stay exact, it, it gains. It gains every instrument is set in stone and and in a nutshell this reissue makes out of this brilliant record an unbelievable record <laughs> 
it's such a pleasure listening to it from A to Z, from the very first song, Guns in the Sky, to Tiny Daggers, the last song. Wow, what an achievement once more. I know this, but, but a lot of people, I talk to a lot of people about those releases, because here in Europe, we are really, really eager for, for those releases. We, we love them, we can't wait until they come out. And wow, once more, Devil Inside is a brilliant song, but in this quality, with this gain, with this more of information, it, it becomes an unbelievable good song. Un believable and and you know what is the reasoning probably a lot of things in in a nutshell probably the all those detail looking for all those details the vinyl the mastering everything in a way but probably also the 45 rpm is 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 quite important for for those releases and and gives us a yeah, it's not, it's not mu too much to say when I say this is a whole new listening experience when it comes to this wonderful, wonderful, important 80s album from In Excess, The Kick. So, this, as we all hoped probably, really, really, really delivers. And I can't wait for your reaction, those of you who already have it or, or get it within the next days. Share your experience, share your, share, share your opinion about it. This kicks for sure. Brilliant. Really happy with it. Really happy. It was, was an amazing listening experience. After this experience, I put up a record that I cannot compare to its original. But of course, I could compare it to the, to the first one that came out. The Bad Company self-titled, which really stands up unbelievably good to this really amazing uh, first pressing. I could compare this. And here we, we just go on with the quality of, of, of the self-titled. Straight Shooter, wonderful blues album from 1975. I think the first one was 1974, this is 1975. And we have this uplifting, guitar-driven blues rock at its best. Of course, we get it in a wonderful gatefold jacket. I mean, this, this, the cover art is iconic. I think all of us are, of, have seen it and uh, knows it. So, again, a milestone in this milestone series wonderful beautiful listening from 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 start to finish again i cannot pick a favorite here like i can put on now uh, with a with a with a in excess because for the first time uh, uh, earlier times on it was a new sensation but now my favorite song is devil inside on this album here i cannot i cannot pick a favorite this is for me an album to listening to from 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 start to finish great one really really great one guitar driven blues rock so we go on in the atlantic 75 series we fly through it in a way another two titles i think we are at 24 now it's it's unbelievable the speed we are getting those is unbelievable but hey as long as they deliver us this outstanding quality in my opinion keep them coming it's really really fun so thank you for your time and i hope to see you on the next one thank you bye <laughs>